With Amazon Prime Day upon us, did you spend a little money today? <laughs> well, if you're good at budgeting, maybe you had a little set aside for the splurge. And if you're not good at it, never fear, because Clay Gordon tonight has some tips to help you get financially organized. Laura Philbrook lives in Portland. She graduated from UMaine with a business marketing degree, eventually working in retail. I decided I just wanted to do a little bit more. I wanted something a little more rewarding. She is babysitting and continuing retail shifts, paying her way through nursing school, hoping a job at a hospital will pay off. But with that. books... I think it was probably around 450. Philbrook did have a trick to help her manage that heavy course load. I had a certain amount of my paycheck every week just go right into an account that I didn't even see. Um, which has been really helpful when deciding to go back to nursing school. It's really to have two checking accounts. To manage your mortgage or rent, car payment and credit cards. The other for savings. That is going to be your safety net to ensure everything is paid on time. Winslow suggests laying out all of your monthly income and monthly expenses. Investopedia, a financial data analyst website, lists eight tips to organize your financial life including pulling out your budget at least once a month, have a checklist for your bills you're expecting, and have two bank accounts. Investopedia says you should also bank on a professional for help. The addition of technology and electronic payments have just come on at, at you know, a mind-numbing speed. They can make life easier, um, and so let us help you navigate through that. I'm hoping to pay off my student loans within, I'd say, five years, get that done, and then um, still save while I'm doing that. But I definitely want to start a retirement fund sooner rather than later. Never too late to start saving for the next chapter. In Portland, Clay Gordon, News Center.